For the Marlins, they give the ball to Braxton Garrett, his 13th start of the season. He's coming off a loss against the Phillies. Marlins 5-7 and seven in his starts this season. Vaughn has three hits in the series, one of them a long home run. This one lined out to left, a little top spin. It gets down in front of Peyton Burdick, and another base hit for Grissom. Now 4-12 for 12 with a home run against Marlins pitching. Austin Riley, the batter. That one all the way to the backstop. No chance for Fortes. Ball skipped in front of the plate. Bad miss. And Austin Riley gets hit with a pitch. So Garrett trying to bury that pitch in on the right hand hitters has thrown a wild pitch and now hits a batter. See Matt Olson three straight games with a home run. A bouncer to first. Lewin. To second for one, on to first at 316. Double beauty. play. Yes, sir, Bob. Helps Garrett get out of the jam. Bryce Elder, who looks for his second victory of the year. See through versus April 21st versus Miami. Gave up two earned runs at four and two thirds. John Birdie, the batter, hitting 269 for the year. Swing and a miss. Took something off, and John Birdie is struck out. Two away. Get five. Yeah. Don't have to throw a complete game. Give your team a chance to win. Lede, another high draft pick for the Marlins. Fourth overall in 2019. But it's not to happen here in the first inning. Bryce Elder changing speed. Well, has a couple of strikeouts. Two out walk keeps the inning alive for Marcelo Zuna. Eddie Rosario takes off from first. The pitch is in the dirt. Fortez's throw is way high. And Eddie Rosario steals his third base. Maybe that'll help Ozuna shorten up with two strikes. And punch up on the right side and you get a free RBI. 2 2. Is in the right field a base hit. Anderson comes up throwing. And it's going to get all the way to home plate. Rosario was cooked. Anderson gets to show off the arm. His first outfield assist of the year cuts down the game's first run. Two out single for Grissom that keeps the inning alive for Austin Riley. Late break and that's taken low ball four. Braves have a threat here two on two out and Matt Olson who has more RBIs than any other National League hitter since July 1st will stand in. That is down the line and Lewin makes another slick play. That would have been extra bases and a run. Really nice. Well, all three innings behind Braxton Garrett have ended with nice defense. Here, Elder has gone three and a third innings and hasn't given up a hit yet. As J.J. Blade stands in. This one is out to left center, and Blade one hops the wall. There it is. A squared <laughs> up double to left center off the bat of J.J. Blade. He's got pop that he can drive the ball the other way that way. If he gets a little pull happy, then he gets in trouble. Rojas rolled out to short in the second inning, so he's 0 for 1. And he is going to come around to score. Base hit for Miguel Rojas. Marlins take a 1 to nothing lead. Beautifully done. I tell you what, Marlins fans haven't had a whole lot to cheer about this series. But. Runners in scoring position has been big. So it's 1-0 Rojas with his 29th RBI. Inviting target on the right side of the infield for Dansby Swanson. So tough to navigate. See they'll go against the shift even. Swanson base hit to right. They've got two on. That swing right there. He had every intention of doing what he just did. He knew whether it was off speed. Sinker away. Two on one out. Sharply hit but to short. Second base one, first base, bad throw! But it bounces off the wall back to Diaz, and the runner, Ozuna, has to stay at third. Atlanta still alive in the fifth inning. And now they have to face Riley with men at the corners, two outs, and Jeff, this is where the Braves have been at their best. There's a fly ball, right field line. Anderson is there. Makes the catch, and Garrett works out of trouble. one nothing halfway home. Got the hugs. Congrats for Braxton Garrett. I'm sure Mel Stottlemyre Jr. can appreciate a start like this. There's Aguilar. He takes a strike. 
Anybody can throw better than Garrett has. Has another strikeout. Elder has punched out four in a row. See, and that looks like that sinker where it starts out because it's been going and it just drops. And the inning continues for Brian Anderson. Little flare, foul ground, long run, Olsen, he got there! Great running catch by Matt Olsen. He does end the inning right here. Anderson pops out, Olsen with a terrific play, and we go to the seventh. Michael's 0 for 2. Line drive in the left center field, that's going to get down, and Michael is going to run. He's around first, here comes the throw to second, the throw will two hop. And there's a one out double for Michael Harris, 14th. Well, great time to show that seven through nine in the lineup because here's Michael Harris again. Great at bat. Got behind. Watch where this pitch is. And here's Dansby Swanson. Now the one two. Swing and a miss. Big out right there. Remember, he came in on a fastball that uh, was just fought off and goes middle up with a, a good fastball, mid 90s. So Austin Riley is up two on, two out. Braves down a run. Floro's 1 2. Caught by Miggy at shortstop. Right at him. That ends the seventh inning. One on, two gone for Peyton Burdick. Runner goes, throw down to second, sneaks away. And Fortes will get to third. Two down, pitch on the way to Burdick. Got him looking. Strike three. What a game for Bryce Elder. Seven complete innings in Miami. And the inning continues for the Braves. First and third with two outs and Ozuna coming up. A full count in a one run game. Runner goes from first. 3 2 pitch is a call strike three. Ozuna thought it was outside. Oker works out of it. Let's take a look at the numbers this year for Tanner Scott. Had that ninth inning for the last couple of months or so, racking up 16 saves. Michael Harris, one for three with a double, a ground out and a strikeout. First pitch swing driven by Harris, left center field deep. He ambushed him and ties the game. One pitch in the ninth, and the kid steps up and blasts one over the left center field wall. Homer number 12, and he enjoyed that one. Oh, man. Two outs, runners at first and second for Contreras. Right back where it came from, it's a base hit on the infield. Throw to the plate, it's going to be late. Vaughn Grissom scores another run. Atlanta with two in the ninth has taken the lead. As you pointed out, 3-2, two, two outs, they're running. Great effort by Birdie. But because Grissom was running, he never stopped. Eddie Rosario, the eighth brave to the plate here in the ninth inning. That gets away. Here comes Olsen. He's going to score. Another 58-footer. It's 3-1. to one. Tanner Scott is wearing out the dirt around home plate. And a bouncer toward Birdie. Throws across his body, makes the play, but the damage done. Lead off Homer to tie it. Braves add two more. It's 3 1. You got Kenley Jansen on, and you got a chance to sweep this whole week. And Nick Fortes, the catcher, is the final hope for the Marlins. So now Kenley a strike away in the bottom of the ninth inning. 2 2 count. How sweep it is in Miami. What a ninth inning for the Braves. They polish off the Marlins, they win it 3 1. And Jeff, they wrap up this road trip seven and four.